Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to My Deep Guide. I scratched my screen, so I was reacting to that, not the content on the screen. No, no. Well, update 2.14 has just come out on the Remarkable platform, and it promises to introduce something really, really cool. And uh, yeah, let's let's check that out. And it's here, the release 2.14, which introduces a brand new tag system for the entire platform, meaning documents, folders, notebooks, and pages. Now, this is something very, very exciting. And if it's implemented correctly, then it is an incredibly powerful thing that's been added. Now, they say in the release notes that, <laughs> that they've also added some things uh, well, basically, yeah, you can use tags da, 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 rolled over from our last release. We've added a gray highlighter option and grayscale. I don't know if they mean that they've updated more, but basically you got tags in 2.14 and then they just repeat the same thing that they've added in 2.13, which is the gray highlighter and improved cloud storage integrations. So in this video, we will be focusing only on the new tags on the Remarkable system. I'm going to focus on addressing a couple of points regarding the tags because I've noticed people in a Facebook group are a little bit confused about them. How do you use them? What they're for, etc. First of all, what are tags? Well, this is the icon that you have for tags. And when you tap it in a document or in a notebook, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. You will see your tags that are already existing. You can view all tags and you can choose through the list of there, or you can, of course, create a new tag. So what is it? Well, uh, think about it as a bookmark, right? So it's a bookmark or a tag that can be applied to a page of any notebook, page of any document, an entire notebook, an entire document, or an entire folder. Primarily, tags are an organizational tool. And this is something that's incredibly powerful and really, really flexible, uh, mainly because it's been uh, distributed through pages of notebooks, pages of documents, documents, notebooks, and folders themselves. So how do you go about actually creating a tag? Well, let's say that I go to another new page here. This is my new page for tagging, right? So this is, for example, a page that I want to tag. And then I go into the tag here and I can choose any of the existing ones. Or I can say like, well, this is my test tag. So I'm just going to add a new one, call it test. There we go. And now it's already there. And once a page in a notebook or in a document has been tagged, this icon will turn to black. So you can see this one is not tagged. This one is tagged. So basically, if you come from a traditional reader side of things, it does resemble functionality of a bookmark very, very closely. And that's a good thing because finally, after hmm, September 2017, June 2022, <laughs> quite a lot of time, we finally have the functionality of bookmarking, but also so much more. So how do you use it? You've tagged your pages, you have a couple of tagged pages, and what do you do with them? Well, if you're within a notebook, you go to the page overview, and there you have tags, and also you have tags over here, the existing ones. This is a slightly different functionality. So first I'll explain this one. The way this works is that you can also 
tag pages, multiple pages at the same time from the main menu by first selecting the pages you want to tag and then assigning a tag to them. And once you do, now the, these become bookmark tags or if I want to remove the tag, I select them, untag them, they are untagged and that's that. The second functionality is that on the top here you will see encircled or encapsulated tags that have been used in this notebook and if I press test I'm just going to filter out tagged pages that have a test tag. If I press to do I will only see the to do. If I press both of them oh that doesn't actually work. Well let's Let's do this. I haven't tested that. So if I go to the test page and add it to be, ah, so it can have multiple tags. That's even cooler. So you can actually have sub branching of tags. So this is my test and a to do. So if I go back into here, this one holds two tags. And now if I go just to do, it will appear both. And if I have this, like the ones that are having both, then we have this. What would be nice is an option, though I'm not sure like how to simply implement that is to have an option to kind of condition. Do you want to add uh, tags or do you want to uh, include uh, either or, right? So that you are displaying both the to do and the test tags and not only the pages that contain both tags, if you know what I mean. But this thing with multiple tagging system is extremely powerful because you can use the parent tag for let's say a project and then you can uh, use sub tags within a very massive notebook to actually list through uh, specific chapters or sub uh, topics of a project or if you will. In a traditional document, this also works perfectly fine. Not only can you tag it, but you can also create a custom tag that I made here, which is called bookmark. And then I can use the tagging system to simply bookmark my document, right? So I can just go like here, bookmark it, and then the same functionality translates whether you're in a notebook or in a document, the same type of functionality is here. What we've talked about, you can select multiple pages, add a bookmark to them, it is added, and then you can filter the pages and see only the bookmarked pages. In this case, this is bookmark being my custom tag system to kind of illustrate that we finally, finally have a bookmarking system in documents. So this is actually incredibly powerful and really, really good. Works exactly the same in a notebook or in a document. And this is exactly what we want to see in a platform that is supposed to be simple and easy to use. This is something that books really doesn't do well. And uh, Kobo Ellipsa does it even worse. Supernote is really, really good, really close, but it still has some small inconsistencies but this is basically as far as the user interface goes and uniformity of user experience throughout the platform remarkable does it extraordinarily well now the tags expand from pages onto the entire notebooks or documents as well and what would you use that for or for uh, folders as well so for example if i go into my company's folder here and let's say that i wanted to um yeah add a new kind of uh, tag for my projects for example the stargazer project so now i can just uh, select these two and I want to add these two. I want to add a new tag. I don't have a tag for it, so I'm just going to create a new one, which is called Stargazer. All right, so enter. Okay, and these have been now tagged. And now the entire notebook is tagged by a tag Stargazer. So uh, similarly, you can do the same thing for documents. So if I go into here and then let's say maybe Geology of Mars and let's, uh, let's say maybe I want to tag only this page um, to have a Stargazer tag. Here we go. So maybe just that page or maybe just another one here just for an example right and now I exit back to the menu 
Now what that gives you is the ability to search and find your documents, notebooks, folders, and pages within no uh, documents, notebooks and pages within documents through a single tag system. How do you do that? Well, this is where it gets a little bit confusing and I have a little nibble with how it's been implemented. First, my first instinct was to actually go through a search because what am I trying to do? I'm trying to find something. So I search for these documents. Therefore, my natural inclination is going to be to go to the search icon. That is actually wrong because if I was to type in, let's say, one of the uh, tags, which is a to do, nothing has been found. Uh, that is because the tags are actually in my files. Underneath favorites, you have the tag system. And once I pressed on tags, now we have the tag search system. And here I have everything that's been tagged. And for example, if I'm looking for just the stargazer stuff, I will see the individual pages within a document. And I will see my uh, tagged notebooks. And you can have a folder if you want. So for example, here are all my bookmarks throughout different documents. Um, I can have my to do lists. And also I have an option I think new dawn is yeah, new dawn, for example, has tagged an entire folder. So you can mix and match all of these things and have them appear in the tag search system effortlessly. The only thing is that it would be a nice thing to just have an option to include both tags to choose whether you want to search by both tags or all the included tags, or uh, just the ones that conclude that include both tags in here. So that's the only thing that's kind of missing from this. But otherwise, this is an incredibly powerful organizational tool that is extremely, extremely welcome on this platform. Now regarding that search thing. So I think that it would be good to have just a tag icon maybe somewhere so that you can easily switch from or basically get to the tag search system the same way it is. It's just a shortcut from the search uh, menu because natural inclination will be to go to the search icon because you're trying to find pages and documents that have been tagged. However, that also leads me to one other nibble, which is there's no search history. So normally, you would want to actually simply tap here and see last 10 search uh, items. And you should have an option to remember the search history or not for privacy matters. Maybe people don't want that. But at least for those who do, if you're going through uh, several search key terms, frequently, it's a very nice thing to actually have them here and just kind of tap that. But that's a kind of a different thing. Either way, this works extremely good. And I'm really, really, really happy that this is now a part of it. And of course, it can be used in conjunction with the uh, My Daily Organizer because My Daily Organizer is a document as well. So you can go here and then you can just tag a page for a to do or a meeting or whatever it may be. And then when you actually go to your page layout, which is massive, because this one has 1700 pages, you just tap like this, and it filters out your pages. So it works on any document on any notebook, my daily organizer included. And this is a really, really powerful tool and a powerful addition to the remarkable platform. One thing that's not so good is that uh, even though I updated the remarkable desktop app to the latest 214 version, bizarrely, you don't have the tags system search system in the app. Go figure. I don't get it. I tried the search, I tried the tag, the favorites or whatever. Maybe it was hidden there, but no, it's not there. So that is 
obviously a massive oversight uh, on their part but hopefully they will uh, change that and fix that sooner rather than later and i have actually faith that they will fix that because if you remember previous in the previous version um, of the app uh, update 213 there was a zoom bug that you could zoom past the limit and you would just get a black screen well that zoom bug is no longer present so that's a very good thing to see all right so the update 2.14 Remarkable team is now finally focusing on their platform and actually providing for some content, which is a very welcome thing to see. And uh, the tag organizational system is a transformative experience. So, so far this year, we've had three incredibly important and valuable additions to the Remarkable platform. One is the completely revamped live view, or not live view, but screen share. Then we had the ability to actually insert pages although it's still just blank pages but still you can do it inserting pages into your pdf documents i still hope that they fix that so that you can actually use templates on it because it will be much more usable but it's a step in the right direction now we have the tag system which is incredibly good and super useful so this is a very welcome thing to see that the uh, remarkable platform is transforming evolving while keeping keeping the simplicity that we talked about and basically one of the things that I really admire is the uniformity of the user interface across whatever it is that you may do on the Remarkable platform. So update 2.14, really, really cool. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell in the description below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. Also, let me know down in the comments what do you think about the tag system, how do you plan to use it, and things like that. If you like what I do with my deep guide, I invite you to check out the Discord my deep guide server, which is a community place to kind of meet like-minded people, share information, share uh, uh, solutions, setups, or whatever it may be. And also, I'd like to invite you to check out the My Daily Organizer. My Daily Organizer has been carefully designed to offer a comprehensive yet effortless all year round experience. If used daily and in a recommended fashion, My Daily Organizer, or MDO for short, can significantly improve your productivity, effectiveness, and efficiency in both professional and personal settings. Full interactivity with over 11,000 hyperlinks spread throughout the entire document, dedicated Monday and Sunday week start versions of the document full year calendar with access to any month, quarter and day of the year, quarterly organizer also with access to the months and the days of the selected quarter, monthly organizer with quick links to weeks each day and also some room for organizational and planning notes for that month. Weekly organizer is also available with access to each day of the week and and you also have one extra weekly notes page. The daily organizer side offers a daily planner page, two dedicated note pages, and a diary page for each day of the year, which can help keep track of your short and long-term goals. And you also have access to 99 cataloged and numbered my notes pages. And the same thing with 99 cataloged my list pages. There are three different cover styles to choose from depending on your personal preference. And there's also a dedicated left-handed version of the MDO created especially for the Remarkable platform. MDO has multi-platform compatibility for the Remarkable, Supernote, and Books platforms. It can and will work on other platforms as well. Main prerequisites are that the platform has a dedicated PDF reader with support for writing annotations into the PDF and, of course, hyperlink functionality. If you would like to learn more about how MDO works, check the videos in the My Daily Organizer playlist in the description below. Or if you already like how MDO sounds and it's something that can help you better organize your professional and or personal life, then you can buy it at mydeepguide.com slash shop. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.